a gear on or looking at this and I'm going to make a man when it's what they used to. Keep it clean. Listen to my commands all times. Good luck to you both. Conductor Cuttings, let's go. So, Gary Colley on a knockout streak, making his first appearance as a professional here in Ireland against a man who three times has been floored and got up to win. And he's been involved in three fights in which he and his opponent have been knocked down. This could be explosive. Gary Cully then, looking for another upgrade in the hottest division in boxing. On a night when in a few hours' time, Devin Haney and Vasil Lomachenko fight for the undisputed title. You can see the size of him straight away, but what shocked me looking at Gary Cully here is how much he's put on in between the weigh-in and the fight. I'd love to know what he's rehydrated because he looks absolutely huge. I love the bounce in the feet. Little feeling out. He gets his rhythm from his feet, Gary Cully. You'll see when he punches, it comes from the feet. Yeah, he's really filled out and yeah, he faints so well with the feet as well. He's sort of jump in and jump back out of range and fire back with crisp counters. That left hand is so spiteful, so hurtful. He hasn't put a foot wrong yet. Felix, I mean, you, you look at his chances and straight away you've got to look at the KO percentage on his record, 30 knockouts, I mean, it's incredible, but how does he hit the target? And I think straight away you look at the frame of Cully, he has to work downstairs first, target the body, then go upstairs. I've said it a, a couple of times, if I was to pick out a couple of things that I've seen for perhaps in Gary Cully, he does come tall, the chin does rise, so... If you target that body, then work upstairs, stairs, you've got half a chance of hitting the target. Good He's positive start, sorry Andy, from Cully on the front foot, poking that jab out. Yeah, certainly pressure with the feet and jabbing well, but Phoenix is moving well here, circling the ring. And if he can just catch Gary stepping, he might be able to raid in. With quick shots, but... The jab and the Cullen out, just dominating so far. This part of the round so far. Right hand to the body from Felix Jr. A bit straight away when you look at the height difference, I mean the shot for Cully, I think it's the uppercut. If he can get that left uppercut, the shorter man. He has got quite a wide guard, Felix. You can see, certainly he could slip that left shot through the middle of the guard. Cully. The problem with the other goes down, sometimes you leave yourself exposed, you're still you you, with that chin high, yeah. Very hard to lead with another cut, I think, sometimes. Maybe stepping back with another cut. Good left hand. You can draw the lead out of Phoenix, take the step back, then fire that uppercut through. Well, on the evidence of the first round, Cully will have to graft for his successes. But Pete Taylor in the corner, very happy with the work across the first three minutes. An easy 10-9 round, is it? Yep, needs to be dominant behind that jab. Cully's moving nicely, as is Felix, like you said, Andy. I mean, he's, though he will be looking to draw out the lead of Felix Cully, still needs to be busy with that jab. Oh, walks onto a left hook there. That's Felix's best chance to time Cully when Cully's throwing. Because you said that, he needs his chin up in the air. So if you can time it, easier said than done. The right hand over the top, or left hook, just like that. He started the round well, Felix, throwing a good couple of straight rights to the body, straight to the solar plexus. But Cully seems to recover now. Back on the jab. And Felix may be needing to feel his way into it. He's been out for 13 months. Last time out, we covered his fight on his own against Sandor Martin, a brilliant Spaniard in Barcelona. He was beaten on points over 10 rounds. Yeah, and it was the movement, wasn't it, Mike, in that fight from Martin that just completely confused and frustrated Felix. 
no answer for it whatsoever. This is good. And Cully just backing his man up. Space behind him if Felix looks to launch an attack. That was a good right hand to the body, though, from the Mexican. He threw several good body shots this round. There again. Oh, good right hook from Cully. He's looking to time Cully. He's looking to time him and meet him at the same time with the punch, just like that. When Cully punches, he's looking to throw his own shot. Nice dip and feint from Felix Jr. Cully's within the rounds, being successful, but he just has to be careful not to leave his chin exposed too much, just like there in the clinch. Talking of body shots, of course, he floored Tyrone McKenna with a body shot in the third round of their fight before going on to lose on points over 10 rounds. One of those body shots that had a delayed effect. Good left hand from Cully. Good straight. He's looking physically strong, Cully. Good to push Phoenix back. I think when there's a battle of the single and double shots, I think there's only one winner, that's Cully. I think Phoenix were, would be happy if Cully was to let his punches go in combinations because when you let your hands go, you're obviously vulnerable and open to be hit. He only needs one opportunity, Felix. He doesn't need to be letting his shots go in bunches. He needs to land that one shot. Good combination with Cully. Double jab left hand to finish up with a left hook to the body. So Gary Cully, confident and in control across the first two rounds. But Jose Felix looking for his openings, looking to spring the trap. Little feints now from Cully. Show on the left, then show on the right. Show on the left, trying to pull him into the right hook as he comes forward. Yeah, on the flip side, he's doing the right thing, Felix, in the sense he's targeting that body first. Threw a couple of nice right hands to the body, then on the third one, he threw to the head, it a stumbled cut. Oh! oh! oh he's a tremendous right hand. He's got the reputation of a man who comes to fight. And one big right hand, and Cully is in huge trouble here with two minutes to go in the round. He's got to hold, Mike, he's got to hold on, he's got to hold, just hold on like that. Felix senses here a sensational finish. Cully desperately holding on. The biggest crisis of his professional career. That's not too bad. Take a knee, take the knee, take the count. Huge shot from Phoenix. His legs are still unsteady. He's moving though. Has to hold on, Cully. Has to try and survive this. No response so far from Cully. This was the fight that was supposed to lift the atmosphere before Taylor against Cameron. Here comes the crowd trying to get behind that man, Mike. Here's the Irish fans trying to get behind Cully. If ever a fighter needed a crowd behind him, this is it now for Gary Cully. Still a minute to go in this the third round. It's a good right hand to the body, straight right. He walks forward, Felix. No care in the world. Oh, oh that's a, a, oh. a stop. Brilliant follow-up by Felix here, as Cully did land with a left hand, but immediately Felix responded. Then he takes a good look at him here. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Swinging wildly here. 
referee. He's given it, referee's given him every chance, but this isn't good for Cully. Pete Taylor in the corner has got the towel in his hand. Still half He's a hurt. minute to go. He's there is his hand. There's a towel. There's a towel. And the towel's come in. The referee hasn't shot. seen it. The referee the hasn't seen, seen it. it. He's got his back turned. Oh. And Gary Cully, finally rescued by the referee. Still, I don't think he's seen the towel coming in. But very soon, Gary Cully will come to the realization that this man here, Jose Felix, with 30 wins out of 39 inside the distance, he's done it again here. And Gary Cully can barely stand up. No, he doesn't know where he is. Mike. He doesn't know where he is. Sensational stuff from Felix Jr. I mean, that's that boxing. That's boxing. No, that's totally believable. That's boxing. And this man here has just sucked the atmosphere out of this arena. Yeah. It's as flat as a pancake, and you can see what it means <laughs> to Felix. But you're right, Andy, it's boxing. These things can happen. If the favourite always won, it wouldn't be as popular as it is. Now and again, sometimes, no. the underdog Listen, wins. We keep bringing these Mexicans over here. They keep knocking our boys out. Well, I said at the top, as you did, Mike, it's those 30 KOs, the 30 knockouts on the record of Phoenix. If there was any way he was going to win this fight, it was by looking for a shot, landing a shot like that. That was a huge right hand. He stepped in with the shot. Down tied went it. Cully. Oh, tied it when he was punching like I see it from his first round. He was looking for that all night. I mean, he, he done well. He's in the stuff. There's the, there's the left hook as well. He tried everything he could, Cully, to hold on, move. And to be fair, or not to be fair, the referee gave him every chance, maybe let him hang in there too long, take a little bit too much from my liking. We understand hometown favourites, popular fighters, but this is about a fighter's safety, and he might have took one too many shots there. You can see these are not landing, but he just doesn't know where he is. Oh, every time he threw the hooks, they had effect. You know what the difference was, uh, Darren and Mike? He didn't have the bounce of his legs he had in the first one. That was giving him in and out, in and out with his shots. When he started to plant his feet, Cully, he left himself there to be hit. Like we said the blueprint was there. The Sandor Martin fight showed exactly what you've got to do to beat Phoenix. Stay out of trouble, stay out of the way. When you've got the advantages that Cully's got, use them. Use the jab, use the feet. But he just, he was so eager to impress the crowd, he let his hands go. And he's still not right. He's still in. not right. Yeah, you can see. Looking at him here across the ring, and he, they need to get him to the hospital, mate. Get him looked at. Security in the corner, waving at the referee, saying the towel's coming. He's gamely firing back, Cully, but the shots were raining in from all angles.